What's up, y'all? Today's video is going to be a project video. On the last camping trip, the boys discovered uh, hammocks and decided they have an affinity for swinging them. Since our next camping trip is going to be at the beach where there won't be any trees to hang some hammocks from, today I'm going to build a frame, a design I came up with to hang a couple hammocks off the side of the truck so that the boys, and myself of course, can enjoy the hammocks while we're at the beach in, uh, in about a week. So hopefully you'll uh, get some ideas, maybe get a little inspired to get out and do a little bit yourself, and um, hopefully it'll be a little bit entertaining along the way. thing we need to do is we're gonna get out the chop saw because we got to start cutting those pipes down into uh, the proper links hopefully y'all can see that but I went and did the uh, calculations did the the math <clears throat> looks like those are the measurements of what we're gonna be cutting so we can start getting some cutting done all of our tubing pieces cut that we're going to need. Now we get to do the slow arduous process and use our tubing notcher to notch all of them. Now that we got the uh, ends of the tubes notched that we needed to notch, and that went a whole lot quicker thanks to it being a fresh drill bit, we're going to go through and clean up all these edges, get the mill scale off of here. Um, the pieces that are going to be welded to, we're going to weld the or use the grinder to get the mill scale off of those, but we're going to clean up all these edges, get them ready for welding, and we're just going to use, you know, flap disc on a four and a half inch grinder. Always wear your hearing protection. Now comes the fun part. Since we have all of these, at least the first round of stuff I'm gonna clean up, we got the uh, ends cleaned up. We're actually gonna weld these together. Um, that's the welder. Part of the reason I came to my dad's house is his welder's nicer than mine. I got a cheap Harbor Freight one that works, but this one, Millermatic, whatever it is, 220 or something, uh, Millermatic 211 is so nice. It works so well. The auto select thing is just perfect. So we're going to use that to weld these up and get some of the initial stages of this thing put together.
We got the uh, first pieces welded. Not the prettiest welds. For some reason, the welder on the auto setting was spitting out a lot more wire than uh, wire speed was a lot higher um, than it should have been. And but it was welding decently right. enough. So I did. this piece right here, I need to make it small enough that I can actually transport it. I think I've got a spot in the uh, on the rig where it'll actually fit, but I need to chop it down into more manageable size pieces. So. I basically cut it down into this is a four foot section then there's a four foot section here and a four foot section here so to join right here at this set joint and this joint this is my idea so what i've got obviously is my inch and a half tubing um and i just so happen to have a piece of uh dom tubing in my garage that fits over that perfectly so i cut a four inch piece and I will weld it onto one end at two inches deep and then it will fit on the other end. The other end will slide right into it two inches so I'm hoping that's enough overlap with the strength of the tube to um, not give me any sort of issue. Anyway, so this goes um, under the wheel and then of course we've got the center section and as you can see I've got one of my joints there, got another one of my joints there this down here is the end I have to figure out. Right so, now I'm leaning towards cutting, you know, three inches or so, four, you know, maybe four inches off of this tube here, notching it on this end, welding it to that, gusseting it, and then this tube will just slide into another piece of the, the bigger tubing. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I just was kind of hoping to keep it as, you know, narrow as possible so it takes up less room. Um, but I'm gonna go do some measurements up underneath the truck where I kind of want to store it and see if I've got enough room to fit this in there. So we'll uh, we'll go look at that real quick. Huh. I think that's gonna work. Let me show you. So as you can see, it fits down there fine since there won't be, but maybe a inch and a half gusset hanging off the end or a little not gusset but the little tabs off the side for hooking the hammock to but on this end because of this gap right here i think that's enough room let's see yeah that'll that'll work out i mean shoot that's over six inches um yeah heck i might even be able to do a four inch i think i might do a four inch just to give myself a little more gusset for strength i think that'll work out fine perfect
test number one did not go so well. I have a lot more flex in the pipe than I thought I would. So and what we found was if you've got one hammock here running, you know, over to that area somewhere and somebody sits in it, this is just not enough rigidity or enough length off of that tube to keep it from doing this. So it actually pulls up the entire it pulls up the entire corner. Like I had both my sons sit in it. And with both their weight, it was pulling this whole thing, you know, this way. But all of the flex, it wasn't, it wasn't, you know, pivoting down there. All of the flex was in this tube right here. The, the first thing I did was, of course, I drilled nail the holes all the way through and then put nails through there. I did that at everywhere where it was not connected. Um, don't mind the fact that this one has extra holes. I, anyways, <laughs> I, let's not talk about that right now. So I added those which will help with the sideways twist. And then as you can see, that is where they originally ended. Um, so if this is the, the point they were a little bit wider. Now they're an extra two feet wider on each end. I have an idea of welding a tab to the back here and then just running a, a rope, you know, all the way down somewhere, you know, over there, dig a big hole, bury a two by four, wrap the rope around it. Because I've seen people build hammocks where they use the dune, um, is one in one end of the connection and they just buried a, a two by four deep down in the sand so that's my plan for helping with this at least that's plan a i'm gonna go test it first so i'll, I'll let you know what happens hey, hey, hey. i'm laying in a hammock attached to my truck and a frame i built as you can see i am the only one i am on one hammock and that leg right over there is not lifting up off the ground. So all I did was throw a ratchet strap around this. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna weld a tab right here so I can hook the ratchet strap directly to the tab. And then that's not even a straight anchor because straight it would be over here. Um, but you know, I carry a big enough piece of two by four with me and anchor it down, I think it'll work. So. All in all, I mean, you know, it's attached here and here. Of course, I'll actually get, you know, proper rope and clips and I just didn't have anything the right length. So this was just to sort of test the theory, but I mean, it's working. I have hammocks. All right, so after the uh, second round of testing, I have and doing a little bit of research, I have determined that I'm gonna make one more modification. Um, I believe the second modification should make this work the way it's supposed to. So um, I actually think after doing a little more research, I could have probably gotten away without adding the two extra feet to each side of the, uh, the upright. <clears throat> and with some more research, I actually found I could probably have done without the whole base. But anyways, I'm gonna add a tab to the back so that I can use it as the anchor point for straps that'll go, you know, triangulated straps that'll go out from the end. So that should solve, I think, all of my problems. So um, let me show you what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna add a tab right here that has um, a big enough hole that I can run two ratchet straps through it. Uh, the ratchet straps are what are going to be what I'm going to use to strap it down to the truck anyway. So I'll just use those two ratchet straps. I'm going to make a little bracket tab, weld that on there, and that should be everything I need. So let's get to fabricating that bracket.
there's coat number one. Um, I am not doing, obviously, a good paint job. I don't care about it being a good paint job because it's going to get scratched up pretty crazily um, riding around between the flatbed and the frame rails of the truck. But this is more just to try and combat the rust, try and prevent it a little bit. Um, I really think I'm going to use this one time because um, I have already done research and determined that there are better solutions for camping or setting up a hammock on the beach. So this is my attempt to over-engineer the most simple of things. Um, apparently that's, you know, that's what I like to do, I guess. Uh, but like I said, I'm not worried about the paint. I am more just worried about keeping it from rusting. So we'll let uh, this dry and then we'll flip it over, paint the other side, and then we'll be done with this thing. Not too bad though. I mean, it's heavy and quite inefficient. I spent the day engineering something, building something, which is always fun, so. And I got to do it in an air-conditioned shop. Even better.